Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sunny from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Innovate Yourself. In today's video, we are going to dive into the world of Raspberry Pi Pico W and learn how to get started with this incredible microcontroller board. Especially, we will be exploring how to build an LED using the Arduino ID. So, let's get started. Before we begin, let's quickly understand what Raspberry Pi Pico W is. It's powerful yet compact microcontroller board that offers endless possibilities for creative projects. With its Wi-Fi capabilities, it takes your tinkering experience to a whole new level. Now, let's wire up our Raspberry Pi Pico W and an LED to see it in action. Connect the positive leg of the LED to GPIO pin 1 also known as GP0 and the negative leg to ground. Make sure to double check the connection to avoid any mishaps. Now let's write the code for the Raspberry Pi Pico so that we can do the blinking of our LED for the connection that we have made. Now for doing the programming, we will do simply write a program for the Raspberry Pi Pico W and as we have already said that we are going to connect our Raspberry Pi uh, to the pin number 1 of your LED or let's say the, the pin number 1 will be connected to the LED to which we want to blink. So for that we will write up the like uh, pin number accordingly. So for that let me write up a code or let's let me write up the basic program for blinking of LED so that uh, we can uh, connect it to the LED to do the blinking of that right. So let me do it quickly. So you guys can see the code is done. Now uh, we have simply defined that uh, we are going to use pin number 0 which is GP0 of your Raspberry Pi which we are going to connect to our uh, LED. Uh, which we have connected over here right and in the loop part we have simply written that we want to turn it on for one second and turn it off for one second and that is going to repeat which will be termed as the blinking of LED. So this is what we are going to do. Now the next step comes is to upload the program to your Raspberry Pi Pico. But just because you know we are completely new to this Raspberry Pi Pico right now and we don't know like how to connect your Raspberry Pi to Arduino IDE. So for that first of all you need to add the board to your Arduino IDE so that you can uh, do the uploading of that right. For that you have to go to tools like right now you can see the board is already selected with me and that is with the name Raspberry Pi Pico. So right now. I can see over here it's Arduino Embed OS RP2040 boards. So this is what we have inside which we have this Raspberry Pi Pico. But let's see from where we are going to install it. So I'll simply go to the board manager and inside the board manager let's wait for it to completely index. Now it's indexed properly. Now simply search for Pico right and over here you can see we have Arduino Embed OS RP2040 boards. So here you can select the version uh, whether you want to use the latest one or the old one and accordingly you can simply click on install button. Once the installation is done uh, like uh, you can further use it and it won't take much time it will be done like uh, within a within few seconds or in a minute depending on the internet speed right. So from here you have to install it once you are done with it just click on close and accordingly you can go back to tools. And over here just go to board Arduino embed OS RP2040 boards and just select Raspberry Pi Pico right and after that second thing that you have to select is the port right currently as you can see in my case it is showing me the port uh, which I have to use right here but suppose or let's say in case in your case it's not actually showing the port then don't worry about that. Uh, in case your cable is fine and your Raspberry Pi is also working. So in that case you have the one option to troubleshoot this and that is just simply upload the program. No need to select anything just upload the program. Uh, once the uploading will start whether it will give you the error or whether it will upload the program it will automatically uh, start showing you the port number over here right. So in my case also the same thing happened with me. So when I googled it I found out that this is the solution to do this. So you can also apply for the same in case you are facing the same difficulties right. So just do that just uh, select the port number in my case it's uh, this one. So I have selected that I have selected the board and I have selected the port. So now after that just simply click on upload 
and just because the board is already connected to my system so that's the reason i can simply click on upload and it will start uploading the code for me so just click on that allow this you can see it didn't take much time to start uploading or let's say it didn't take much time to upload the code right now the program is uploaded now let's see uh, how the blinking is happening right so let's see that so guys you can see the led is blinking successfully and as you can see in my case i was not having a single led i had one bunch of leds where i connected all of them together and i have made a kind of a circle for that right so i have joined all of them and in that way you can see the led is blinking right so this is blinking and this is connected to the raspberry pi pico this is the ground pin and this is the uh, gp0 pin right so this is the way like how do we do the blinking of led with raspberry pi pico w that wraps up today's episode on getting started with raspberry pi pico w and blinking an led using the arduino id i hope you found this tutorial helpful and inspiring stay tuned for more exciting projects and tutorials on innovate yourself remember the possibilities and end remember the possibilities are endless when you unleash your creativity with raspberry pi pico so that's all from my side for today if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel so till then bye bye and happy learning